Hey there, folks. My name is John Durth. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here for the Shenandoah National Park Trust and to play some music outside for the trust and for the outreach that they're doing uh, for all of us and presenting the arts and local artists, area artists, and people who have a feeling for the park. I know I do, I play trumpet, I play jazz trumpet, and um, I compose music too, and I really love music. I love to play music outside. I'm out here in my backyard right now, and I'm um, gonna make this little video uh, in a few segments, just with some help from friends. And um, I think I'll start out by just playing or improvising a little bit on the blues which is a, an American art form created by African-Americans in this country. And jazz comes <clears throat> quite a bit from the blues and jazz is black music. It's a great gift that was given to the world by the black people of America, jazz and blues. And music is neurological. It's something that you appreciate actually with your nervous system. It's like any other really biological function that we have. It's very biological music. And when jazz was created, it was recorded. It went all over the world. And it changed the way many, many musicians in every corner of the globe heard music. It changed the way they were wired, the way we were wired. People who heard that music got rewired in their neurology and could then play it. We have black music, I mean, we have uh, jazz music being played in every corner of the globe, and every note that's played expresses Black Lives Matter because those notes would not exist without black lives. experience just to be able to play a blues. I love the blues and especially love the blues outside. One of the things I'm really interested in as a music educator is the idea that most people are musical, even if they feel like they're not. Very often, if you think about it, people know a lot about music without really needing to know much about it. That's why people are such good judges of music and a judge of performance because they can hear whether the performance is good or not as good, even if they don't know anything about the technical details. So I like to promote to my students the idea that when we improvise, we're talking in music and we are 
improvising when we talk to each other. We're saying things and listening and hearing things without thinking of a single rule or grammatical point consciously. We just have all of that stuff in a kind of unconscious competence and fluency, and we're just able to use it. And that's what improvising musicians do. So I'm going to spend a moment and just say to myself, I want to do a little meditation on the moment at hand, the way everybody is having to kind of come together in a certain way. Everyone in the world is being affected similarly, not in always the same ways, but the similar forces are at work in people's lives in a pandemic. So it's one world in an odd way. And that is uh, in many ways what music has to teach that we're one world because we all understand it. I'm gonna just take a scale. Most people know what a scale is. We are familiar with the major scale, but you know, sometimes scales can have a different sound. I'm gonna create a little scale here or create a little scale sound that I'm just feeling right now. It's gonna sound like this. being too technical about it just say that's the sound and it's like an environment that sound and I'm going to end this segment of my video by just improvising a devotional meditation on the situation at hand and on our feeling for each other how we hope everybody's well and how people are really stepping up to contribute to everybody's well-being you see it happening. special guest.